sitting room I will wait for you in the hollow of your hue Like a darkened glass All the devil's past And he is waiting fast To set his own trap too some firewood for the day. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to prepare enough wood for the whole winter this autumn, so we have to come down here every day and make new one. Oh, oh, nein. <laughs> Man will halt gerne auch trotzdem. Mhm. Das, ist, das ist auch super. Bequem. Wenn es trocken und warm. Perfekt. Then I also wanted to thank you so, so much for all the wonderful feedback that I got under my previous video. It's just, yeah, such a wonderful feeling to have, yeah, such a kind and supportive community that we all have built here. And um, I was also really inspired to hear about your wishes, what you would like to see in my videos. And there were some really nice ideas and I will definitely try to integrate that in the future and as this was also very requested I thought we could start with a little Q&A. I already saw some questions under the previous video but you can also yeah, leave me your question under this video and I will be very happy to answer them in one of my next videos. And you are shaking him, you shake your fucking mood. The moon wrestle her, so come and wrestle her. And see the shaking turn to taking and to soothe. And in a kind of way, What did the spirit say? What did the spirit do beneath the waning crescent moon? When you were in the yard, where you would work so hard, with one thing to impart, one secret kept for you. Oh, 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 oh. 
bit nervous. <laughs> so we are here now in front of our beautiful fireplace to finally answer the question that came up so, so much. And that is the question, how we met. To make it really simple is that we met in Dream Valley, the farm that I first lived on when I moved to Norway. And I think it must have been around 20. 15 or something? Yes. Yes, when, when we first met, but we weren't together when I moved to Norway in 2018 and we were actually not even close to that um, because many people seem to think that, but I moved to Norway on my own uh, with Ivy, of course. But maybe we should start from the beginning. Right. Um, should I start? Yes. Okay. So I was in Dream Valley the first time, I think in 2012 or so, and I just fell so much in love with it that I kept coming back over the next couple of years. And I always stayed, yeah, sometimes just for a week or so, but then I had also periods where I stayed over several months. And this whole time was actually a time where I was in yeah, quite a dark place of my life. Yeah, I was. Yeah, really depressed and really sad and um, the last thing that I wanted was a relationship. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I um, always felt kind of trapped and really uncomfortable in relationships. But at the same time, I always had this belief that something else yeah, just, just exists out there and um, it did because <laughs> then um, I met you and everything was just yeah, like really different. For me, it was this strange mix out of, I don't know, having a lot of respect for you, but also every time when you were around, my heart was just like really open and um, that really scared me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think I actually even avoided you from time to mm -hmm. time because I, was, I wasn't <laughs> just used to this kind of feeling. But at the same time, when we then talked, I always felt that it was really connected and really intimate, like from the very beginning. Yeah, I remember we saw each other from across the field every now and again. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> from far away. <laughs> And when you were sitting on one side of the room, I was definitely sitting on the other side of the room. <laughs> well, I could hardly look in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> how was it for you? Maybe you can explain a little bit from your perspective and how you came to Dream Valley. Sure. So I came to Dream Valley, I think it must have been a year or two mm -hmm. before we met. Mm -hmm. I had uh, quit my studies the first time <laughs> and I was going through quite a difficult time and Dream Valley was a retreat, a place away from the world and, and so I came up there in the middle of January I think and it was just a world unto its own and it was just a, a haven, safe place mm -hmm. and I stayed there on and off, I think the first time I stayed for half a year or something and uh, yeah, at some point, I remember Tina told me that there was this girl who was going to come who was really wonderful with the horses. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first thing I, I heard from you. Mm. And then I remember meeting you and it was just, it was just different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really was. And I still remember we were talking in the hay room when mm. we were to feed the horses mm -hmm. and our conversations just got really deep really fast. Yeah. It's like, okay, hi, I'm Lena. What are you feeling? <laughs> Want to tell me more about your past, maybe? <laughs> but that is really how it went on. We had like some periods where we had like really deep and close contact. Mm -hmm. And then, but when one of us left Dream Valley, we had no contact at, at all. No, no, no mail, no, no phone. It nothing. was. Yeah. No, because we weren't friends no and it was um, also it was like this really weird mixture of like <laughs> somehow really intimate and very far away <laughs> and like yeah almost being a little bit scared of each other <laughs> absolutely <Ooh. laughs> 
<laughs> no, every time you just looked at me, I, 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 I had to look away. <laughs> but it's still kind of like that. <laughs> Hasn't changed much. <laughs> yeah, but it was never, never really into like this kind of direction. No. And I never would have believed that I would get together with you. It was like, it was just out of my And I wasn't space. looking for a relationship at all. No. And I had really had a serious relationship anyway. Yeah. Um, no, it just wasn't on my radar. No. Yeah, I think we were both like not really giving any signs. No. I no. <laughs> it's just not happening. <laughs> so this could have, and it did go on for a while. It did go on time. for a while. But then in 2019, in spring, mm -hmm. when I already moved to Norway and I was like just about starting to travel, I got a text message from you, really Indeed. out of nowhere. And I was, I had kind of um, done some cleaning up in my life mm -hmm. and I was kind of ready for something new and then Tina came right. for a visit and she told me that Lena is working in Norway, she's driving around and she's probably in Oslo now. Mm, I was. <laughs> and all of a sudden I thought, all right, I'll send her a text yeah. and see if she wants to meet her. Yeah. So nervous. I was also <laughs> really nervous when I got this. And it message. wasn't a plan to get together in, in any way like that. It was mm. just, but the something impulse. in me knew that this is, yeah. this is more important than a meeting of friends because that mm -hmm. wasn't. So I sent you a text, mm -hmm. asked if you wanted to meet mm -hmm. and I got a text pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I think almost right away I got a text mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. where should we meet? And we met a little, well, at the outskirts of Oslo. Mm -hmm. A really beautiful forest. Mm -hmm. the old kind of forest. Yeah, it was really wonderful. We were just walking like off the path, like really straight into the forest. Mm -hmm. And we were just like talking and talking and talking and really deep talking. It was quite amazing because I remember the most important thing mm -hmm. was because at that point I had started studying again. Yeah. It's kind of a never-ending story of my mm -hmm. 20s. And I had kind of given up on painting. Yeah. And I remember you reminded me of that that was important to me. Mm -hmm. That was the thing that was important to me. Mm -hmm. And it kind of fired me up again. And <laughs> gave me so hope to go back and start up again. Mm -hmm. And then I remember like I, I collected all my courage and when you left I told you. I told you that um, I didn't I didn't remember what I what I said, but I said something like You mean a lot you are important in my heart. Something like that. Yes. Like just no like I didn't want to give any hint because at that time I still really didn't <laughs> know what was going on, but I just wanted to say something and uh, yeah, that was really, and I think you just took my hand really quickly and then yes. you ran away. <laughs> and after that, of course, both of us, like, okay, no sign. We were both like, okay, maybe, I think we were both like, okay, maybe that was a little bit too intense. <laughs> or like something like, okay. Just, I don't want to disturb the or, other, yeah. Yes, I just, don't, I just don't want to invade you. Exactly. Somehow. Very much. I think we're both very much, we don't want to disturb others. No. It's kind of the worst thing to do is to step over the boundary. Of course, yes. And especially to you, I would never. <laughs> yeah. And um, so there were again, I think, a month of silence. <laughs> 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 and then I got, I got the impulse. Mm. I texted you at midsummer if you yes. would like to celebrate midsummer together with me. Yes. And we had a really beautiful midsummer. We. Like, um, I, I took could, the train out. Yes, and I picked you up there. I, I think that was uh, Hoxent or yes, Hoxent. Hoxent, yes, and no, uh, that was not Hoxent. Yes, of course it was. It was at a train yes. station, and I walked over. I can still yes. remember you staying there with with the van. Yes, and we yeah got some food and we made a fire and mm. it was we were sitting like on a really beautiful spot by the river oh, deep in the forest yeah really deep in the forest so you found that spot before mm -hmm. i have been there before i knew that there was a beautiful lake up up on the hill mm -hmm. and we climbed up that hill mm -hmm. and we stayed there at this lake looking at the yeah sun that wasn't really going down because it was the midsummer, it was midsummer. 
Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah, we talked a lot and it was... Um, magical. Yeah, really yeah. magical and connected, but yeah, still... But no, no, that wasn't it, in case but you wondered. It was, it, no, it was, it was just really connected, really close and... Mm. And I didn't want to go home, so we kept kind of stalling. Yeah. And I knew that there was a train going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, eventually, I did miss my train. Yes, and it was like... I don't know, midnight or so. Mm -hmm. And um, then we were sitting there in the middle of the forest and there was no train going back. And you offered that I could sleep in the van. I did? Yes. Oh my god. But of course I there was no I would have never offered. You, oh you did. Eh? Really? Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed of myself. <laughs> That was also the point that I started thinking, oh, there is something more. Maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. But and it could have just been politeness. So I said no, mm -hmm. but maybe you could drive me home to Oslo for yes. three hours to the yes. night. Yes, and, and I did. did. I did, I drove you home. And on the way, mm -hmm. we got to talking about your job. Yes. Which was really stressful at the time. Exciting and stressful, yes. Yes, both. Both, because I was, uh, at that time I worked like um, uh, for a company that has like, um, yeah, I basically I traveled around and taking a lot of pictures of different tourist places and so I was every day at a different spot and it was really fun but also quite stressful and um, that was a wonderful opportunity for you to offer me your help. Very much so. <laughs> so I did mm -hmm. and I had my sister's wedding to go to in Spain yeah. beforehand. Yeah. But. And uh, we made the plan that mm -hmm. I would accompany you to the Norwegian silver mines. Yes, to take pictures, yeah. To take pictures. Mm -hmm. And so afterwards I came back mm -hmm. and I took the train again. Mm -hmm. You picked me up mm -hmm. and we drove to the silver mines. Yeah. And uh, you even, <laughs> you even modeled that. for me as like, because um, at these tourist places I needed some kind of yeah, really interested tourists that, oh, very. Really, that were really... <laughs> so you appear actually in some of the pictures. It's true. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and then... I think you had to go back to Oslo one more time. I had so. to go back to Oslo one more time. But then, and I went back to Oslo and packed my huge backpack. It was huge. Um, <laughs> So, because I was going to come back and accompany you for a few more, more places yes. with an enormous backpack. I'm not sure what that says about me. So, I then moved in. Yeah, you just moved in. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't come home again for, I think, two months or yes. something. You, you just lived together in that van from <laughs> that on. <laughs> it was like really from like four years, you know, four years, not a sign. It was really meant to be, kind of, yeah. because also all these four years since I knew you, I never really was interested in someone else because mm -hmm. I really knew, okay, there's something more special. And when you moved in, it really felt <laughs> like, okay, now, um, like the universe was like, Absolutely. finally, <laughs> finally. <laughs> no. That was really hard work. With these and guys. then it was just right. It was just right. It was just right. And yes. we lived in a tiny little camper van yes, for three two, months, two I think. square you know. meters. <laughs> yeah. And then and we went to Tina's mm -hmm. after a few days, mm -hmm. which is where we got a question. Oh, I remember. Yeah, someone asked me, <laughs> someone asked me, um, are you two together? And I was really like, yeah, well, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were sitting in the car back then, and you I told, told you, me. and I told you about it, and I was like, "What should I answer to this question?" <laughs> that, was, that was quite a question. <laughs> and you were like, "Well, I wouldn't mind if you answered yes." <laughs> and that's when we decided. Then we were together. Yes. And <laughs> since then, we never really have separated again. No. Since this summer. No, it's been a few nights away. Mm -hmm. All together. <laughs> and I was once in Hamburg for uh, two weeks. Oh, that was difficult. And you were sitting here the whole time. And it was time. hard. I just sat around and no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, but it's strange. It's really like, I think I can say that for both of us, that we are, yeah, we're both like really 
independent people yeah. who don't have any problems being alone but with you it's just so different because now i feel like um we share the space yes. and um it's not um that yeah someone is taking away my freedom yes i always liked being alone yeah and now we're alone together yes <laughs> that's something totally different but just more nice absolutely just just better just better <laughs> yes I don't know, I never experienced something like that before. It's just, it's really kind of like meant to be, I think. Yeah. And, uh, and then, because I still had a little cabiny place. Yeah. And that I was renting. Mm. And you were gonna rent someplace? And I don't know how that kind of merged into. Yeah, and suddenly we thought about, okay, but maybe we don't, maybe we just rent together. Together. And, and suddenly we had a house, a car, and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we after a few months. After two months. <laughs> and it just, it just, mm. it was just, it was right. It was just right. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, now we are sharing a dream together. We mm -hmm. share a vision. We have a business together. Yes, we do. We, we work together and it's, I never really had one day where I felt like, okay, maybe I need some space or something. <laughs> never. Yeah. And I think, um, that's probably the story, isn't it? That is the story. Mm -hmm. Only took us four years. <laughs> <laughs> it's love us first sight, yeah. then you wait for four years. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was right. It was absolutely right. We were so I think we were both like really different persons back then. Yeah, I wasn't ready at the time. No, me neither. And then suddenly it happened when everything was. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. But I think that's a part of it as well. Because we never forced it. No. And um, we were both not looking for it. Exactly. And I think that's a part of it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this is it. I think so too. I hope you enjoyed the story and mm -hmm. um, now this question is finally answered. Yes. <laughs> Brother, you could take off the mask you wear and quit acting like you don't care about the things that are killing you. Sister, don't go that way no more. You've been down that road before. Says that it's alright living in darkness every